impressionable in your teenage years and we grew up sort of in the late 50s early 60s and uh, we started to develop an interest in, in fantasy films of that period. The 50s, uh, especially the B movies, or the Roger Corman type films, uh, included a teenage and a rock and roll element, you know, uh, and we developed in the 50s as well as our love of the films. We developed an interest in rock and roll and, and, and jiving and dancing and the whole uh, youth culture of the period. I, I started at that time, I suppose it was uh, um, hopes of being arty or artistic. I started to get interested in the, the German expressionist films, the black and white stuff, you know, Nosferatu, Caligari, Waxworks, Der Golem, all that sort of stuff. Noel, uh, he, he matured earlier, I think. <laughs> he started to gravitate towards the uh, science fiction teenage horror films of that period. Mm -hmm. And I think they have proved more durable. Cause yes, they have. Uh, we're still, though I still do like the, the, the early silent classics, but uh, our main interest now would still be in those 50s films. What's the matter? Has Joe been sick? No, we gave him to stand up. Too much work. Oh, Joe, you're right. The boy's panic should have told me it was more than school he was afraid of. And then littered clothes up vegetables. It's actually named this cinema, the Tudor after the Tudor cinema in Bangor, which Roy and I used to admit off school to go to sea in the late 50s. And I remember seeing Curse of Frankenstein down there and Return of the Return Vampire. Of the Vampire yeah, yeah, double feature. I remember seeing those. The Tudor, it broke our heart. The Tudor closed in 1962 and it was our big blow when the Tudor closed. And I always swore that if I ever had a cinema of my own, I was going to call it the Tudor. It was um, opened in 1974, <coughs> just after I, I got married and moved into the country. Uh, and uh, I remember the first film, it was in August 74, was Them. The one about the big giant dance, the Warner Brothers film. That was the very first film shown in here. On 16 mil, of course. And uh, I started with one projector, and I used to have to have a break between reels, and then I graduated to two projectors and did the reel changes and so on. You, you, you're making progress all the time. You're always working at it. And, uh, although I'm getting a bit lazy now. I don't do so much at, at this. Uh, but for, for, for many, many years, I was always trying to make improvements and add little unnecessary bits, you know, not leaving well enough alone, always wanting to improve. My cinema is called the Excelsior. Uh, I, I tell you why I picked that name, uh, because one of my favourite films is It Came From Outer Space, and there's an old mine shaft in that called the Excelsior Mine Shaft. Of course, the stem of Excelsior is excellent, which <laughs> I think is very appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's that's why uh, it was originally called the LVT, <laughs> which was a luxury. Don't ask him why. Uh, I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> it was a luxury viewing theatre, <laughs> and for a long time it was called the LVT. But I thought it was the lux luxury should have been changed to laughable. <laughs> uh, the laughable viewing theatre. So the luxury viewing theatre theatre then became the the, the Excelsior. The globe. I married a monster from outer space. Uh, uh, Findy walked away. So many good films. She did, man. So uh, man. 58 was to me was said it all. It was the year. Though 57, 59 were very mm -hmm. good too, you know. Mm -hmm. But 58, if I had a, I often thought of this. I've had a, a choice by some miracle to uh, board a time machine and go back. I think it would go to 58. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the, those films, although they're being remade now and. Uh, People are either laugh at them or, or frown upon them and so forth. They, they've lost at the course, mm -hmm. and it's a tribute to them that people are now turning back to those, pumping millions of dollars into them and trying to improve on them. But the, the freshness was always there in the mm -hmm. early days, mm -hmm. and although they're putting in massive special effects and makeup and all now, the film was having the same lasting value as the early ones had. Uh, as Roy said, they, they tend to send them up a bit nowadays. They mock them, but... Uh, we take them seriously. I mean, we don't mock them at all. We we think they're they're worthwhile films in their own right, although made on a, on a very low budget. But they're still uh, interesting and and uh, hugely entertaining and enjoyable. Mm -hmm.